Phil Jackson is a fantastic, phenomenal, great 11-time championship coach. But as an executive, he's a rookie. Right. And I don't care about him right now as an executive. I'm telling you. you know, he goes to the bench, come talk to me. But outside, I could have done his job last year. I could have done that job. Mm -hmm. I mean, I'm getting rid of J.R. Smith and DeMond Shepard for two picks and two trade exceptions. I'm getting rid of Tyson Chandler giving them away like he's a box of cookies for Samuel Dallenbear. I couldn't have done that. And Raymond Phelps, I couldn't have done it. And getting uh, uh, Jose Calderon. Why? Because he speaks good Spanish. I mean, what, you, what, 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 what did that do for the Knicks? And the fourth pick in the 2015 NBA draft goes to the New York Knicks. <laughs> Which means that the Los Angeles Lakers have moved into the top three. Skip Baylor somehow, some way, it's worse under Phil Jackson. Never in the history of the New York Knicks have they won, have they lost 60 plus games in a season. They lost 65 this year. Yeah. Last week, last week, Skip, we're in Chicago for the Bulls Cavs. The NBA pre-draft camp is in Chicago. Skip, all the executives, all the coaches, everybody goes there. Everybody's there. Phil Jackson is in Chicago. What are they talking about last night? Phil Jackson never showed up to the pre-draft. He was in Chicago, never showed up. Steve Mills, somebody else was there. I mean, you got to be kidding me. And then the draft last night, if nothing else, Skip Bayless, you're the Zen master. You're the guy that the Zen, the aura, all the things that make you you. I mean, things just seem to flow in your favor, Phil Jackson. Would you think that that level of karma was worth? I mean, you could have you, you could have blessed us with your presence last night because you are getting paid twelve million, ten to twelve million dollars. I mean, could you at least showed up and just sat there to hear? Maybe, just maybe, you might have ended up getting one of the top two picks. No, Phil can't. Phil Jackson can't do that either. So you you can't seem to pick talent. You, you, you can't seem to, to go out there and get a marquee free agent. Not yet, anyway. You, you can't build a roster. You don't want to pick a coach with experience. You don't want to coach. And then on top of it all, you don't even have the decency to show up and to make your presence felt so some level of karma can come our way? Uh, I, oh, just. Things are Okay. You. Give him some Let's help. Go ahead. Let's go ahead. Give him some medicine. With the fourth pick in the 2015 NBA draft, the New York Knicks select Kristaps Porzingis from Leopaya, Latvia. He last played for Sevilla in Spain. When I think about Phil Jackson, he made promises that he's simply not keeping. And if I seem a bit agitated, yes, it would happen to be because I'm on vacation and I came off vacation just to talk about this subject because as a native New York, I'm completely disgusted. Told the city of New York you were going to be respectable, you were going to contend for a playoff spot within the Eastern Conference, then has the temerity, the unmitigated goal, the disgusting proclamation that you did a great job because you cleaned up the house by tanking the season and oh by the way when you take the season you didn't even do that right because two of your last three games at Atlanta at Orlando you lost those two basically giving more ping pong balls to the Minnesota Timberwolves who ended up with the number one overall pick in the NBA draft New York Nick fans were at the Barclays Center booing because we recognize that we have been hoodwinked, bamboozled, led astray, run amok, and flat out deceived by Phil Jackson and the New York Knicks. That is the situation. That is what is going on. And that is why I stand here on my vacation, blissfully happy until tonight when this happened. Ruined everything. Just ruined it.